so hello guys welcome to pc trick stone channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how to remove frp on t-mobile galaxy on 5 the model to be exact the model is sm dash g 525 t uh, on android 6 android marshmallow marshmallow android 6.0 okay using in good file with odin you are not gonna lose any data of in your device and it will take only some 10 to 15 minutes so let's start uh, before you start let me let me make this clear that I've, I've divided this <coughs> process into two steps first step is to enable your USB debugging mode on your device by flashing the input file on your device using this Odin using the Odin and then step 2 the step 2 is to remove FRB using ADB tool so let's start let's start our step 1 first of all we will flash the input file you can download this uh, from the link in the description of this video check there step 1 after flashing this your USB debugging mode on your device will be uh, enabled automatically so just to flash this you will need to you will need to put your device into uh, download mode first of all and then use this tool to flash so first of all run this tool Odin now after running this tool now put your device into download mode first of all power off your device after that press volume down plus home plus power button at the same time uh, for some seconds after that you will see a screen say uh, giving you a warning but now after that you will have to um, press volume up to continue to download mode ok now ok after that <coughs> after that connect your device with usb cable now it will take some time to take driver uh, uh, after that your device will be shown here like this on com1 port here like mine removed again added added ok now here After showing your device here, the select the file, uh, the input file, which we just downloaded. This one in the AP button here, from AP button. This one's the file. It's only around 7 MB. The file is input file is 7 MB only. FRP tool is not more than 4 MB, and this word in itself it only 1 to 2 MB. You can see here. These are very small files, so you can download them easily after selecting the file just click on start and then when your flash will be completed successfully you will see a green sign here saying pass after that your usb debugging mode will be enabled and your device will remote, uh, reboot automatically or you will need to reboot it when your device gets reboot and powers on power on you just need to do it put your device into the screen where you need to enter your uh, gmail logins uh, that means when you get the frp lock now power on your device or it has been already then it's okay now you can exit odin now our step one has been completed successfully after that our step two is to uh, step two is to remove frp using adv tool so okay download this tool and then install it it will not take much time installing installing done okay now you will get a shortcut here the adv tool after that where is where your device needs to enter gmail login keep it there and then run this tool <coughs> and then run this tool after that you can toggle the lock from here for more info about what is going on here ok now go to devices tab and then connect your device to PC with USB cable again after some time you will get a prompt to allow your allow connection between computer and Android just allow it if it shows and wait some time
okay after some time your device will be detected here with usb doing mode enabled now all we have to do is go to frp tab and then select method 1 uh, which is already selected don't use method 2 and just select method 1 and remove frp click on remove frp after clicking here <coughs> after clicking here uh, wait for some seconds your device will be automatically rebooted uh, with frp removed google account lock removed and then you can use your device okay frp removed done uh, wait. Copy it. <coughs> you can see frp removed done rebooting your device device offline now the frp is gone now the frp is gone you should be able to use your device as normal okay thanks for watching if this worked for you hit the like button and if you like really like just hit the subscribe button again thanks for watching have a good day i'll get you in next tutorial